Hello friends, my name is Roisin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be setting up my reading notion with you for 2023. If you have been around on this channel for a while, you may have seen me set up various different reading journals and try to track my reading in various different ways over the past three years. I'll leave a playlist linked in the cards above if you want to go and see the, what, how I tried to set this up in the past. But unfortunately, none of those have really stuck with me. And so I've decided to try a new method. So I have been watching a lot of TikToks, YouTube videos, looking on Pinterest to kind of work out how to use Notion. I am still fairly new. I have set up some pages, but um, yeah, I am still fairly new. So we're going to be going through this together. And if you don't know what Notion is, it is a free web app uh, that you can use on your desktop or on your phone or tablet as well. And if you use it across multiple devices, it syncs across the devices. Um, and it just allows you to create various different pages. I think it was initially created for uh, work for professional spaces for multiple different people in a team to be able to access the same information but I know a lot of people have been using it for organizing online which is how I discovered it and so I am going to attempt to set myself up a reading notion to help me keep a better track of what I'm reading and to make better notes so that I can give you better reviews so without further ado let's get into tracking it Okay, so this is my home page, which is just loading now. And as you can see in the navigate section, I have reading. So I'm going to click on that and I have absolutely nothing here. I didn't add that banner. It just appeared. I've just called this reading. So I have made some notes about what I want to put in here. I would like whatever I am currently reading. So if we put a slash in, it brings up um, the blocks that you can use. Um, this isn't really a how to, but that is something that I have learned. Um, so I'll put currently reading here and I will want that to be pictures I think but I'm currently not actually reading anything I haven't started reading anything for this here yet I want links on one side to other pages so I'm going to put page here and this will be my um, 2023 reads and I want to add a table for that. I'm, it's going to be a new database. I don't have a database for this already. Um, so how do we set up this table? What do I want in my red in 2023? Um, I would like it to be divided by month. So if I rename this as January, then I can add another one, which I can rename as February. We'll need a title, obviously. Uh, for another one, that is text based for author. And move that over there. And then what I want is a checkbox. So if I checkbox, there we go. So I want to just, um, have whether it's audio, ebook, or physical copy. Um, so I will put here, and then I can move that there. Add another one. So the one that we have for tags here, I'm going to rename as genres um, and that should be multi-select. Yeah. And so then I'll be able to create options. And I think that once I create an option, it will like more and more will drop down. So if I add a book that I know I'm going to be reading this month, which is the Makioka Sisters, as that is my reading club book. I actually might not finish that until February, but I'm still going to put it in here so that's my book club book for my big book club uh, so if you want to read that along with us you'll find linked in the cards above the announcement video and in the description is the discord as well where we'll be chatting about that so that'll be the Makioka sisters and this has made a page so then I can open the page so then I can make notes on what I'm reading which is one of the things I want to do this year I don't think they'll need to be too detailed for me I don't think I'm going to be doing like full reviews on here but I like that just by clicking on the book I can open the notes and then I can sort of refresh myself um, when I uh, am coming to review it when I am making like my end of the year videos because I found this year that um, end of the year my end of the year videos the books that I'd read at the start of the year I didn't have the best memory of and I want to be able to um, do that better so this is a classic so I'll create classic and it is also translated and it is also family saga. I want to be able to create 
a page for those as well. So I'm going to try and work out how to do that where I can just click through the genre. If I click on one of these, it will open up to a page where I have everything that I've read in that genre. So I'm going to have to work out how to do that. But so far, this is what I'm going to be doing for my 2023 um, reads. So that I'm kind of fine with that as it is. So that will go on this side of here. So if I put that there and then I can also, so I kind of want a header for that, that will say um, navigation. That's just what I've called it in, in the other pages as well. I want that to go on top of there. So I'm going to do one for my library, which is another page. Uh, and then that one I'm going to need, there is a template, I think, for reading list yeah but this does include a lot of different things but i think yeah that's not what i need really because it's more similar to what i was doing before with a score and a status and um that i don't think that's really what i need so i think i'm going to create this myself <laughs> okay it's given me a wee a wee policeman there um so i'm going to create another table for this and this is going to be but again with no database um and this is going to be my books I own table um, so again all I need for that is kind of similar I think we just want name then I just have to add in books I own so So you kind of get the gist there of what I'm going to do. Um, I will obviously have to go through all of these, all my audiobooks and all my ebooks by myself. I kind of, I guess if it's got if it's got the medium there, it will be able to edit them by that. I might create subtables as well to just have the physical and things. So I've got kind of an overview so I can easily divide it myself. So this hypothetical TBR is for all the books that I have um, that are on my list of things to read, but that I don't own. I just need book, author and genre for this one, don't I? Because I don't own it. So it will just be book, author and genre for my hypothetical TBR. I am going to make these look prettier, um, but I will do that later. I think I'm just going to set everything up for now so I have my basic. So I want to have my monthly TBR on the side here as well. So we're going to put, what month is it? January. Now I haven't actually created a TBR for this month, but I think I'm still going to want that but I am going to want that when I've got more like videos planned out um I want to count of how many books I've read so far to be on my front page and I think that I can get a counter from Indify which is where I've got other widgets from before so do we have a counter there we go counter um And now I can change the colour. Now I haven't decided what colour scheme to do for my reading ones yet. Um, if you look here, my homepage is all pink and blue. And my um, Ocean's Reading, which isn't properly set up yet, but that's black and white. And so what do I want reading to be? If I change the cover and I look on the unsplash, Maybe it will help me think of a colour. Um, I don't love all the pictures on here. Now we're going to go with this picture of Trinity College, Dublin. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Maybe I'm wrong. But so we're going with browns. Standard reading, it's browns. So then I just need to think of. That looks horrible though. I don't like that colour brown. So then I just Google hex codes and it gives me various different hex codes um for various different things and so i can pick one that i think is nicer okay the other two things that i wanted on here was my this is my library books um because i want to have a table for my library books that are on loan currently so we would have name, due date. 
so that I don't forget that I have them and that I don't forget to um, turn them back. And then the other one that I wanted to have was my must reads for 2023, uh, which will be checkboxes. So I want that to be a to-do list. Then that will give me checkboxes um, because I made a video of 23 books I want to read in 2023. And I have another video that is five star reads, five star predictions, and I want to finish them finally. So I'm going to make my must reads um, here list here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and I'm going to fiddle with this by myself until I get it to look how I want it to look I will do a time lapse here maybe of some of that work of me fiddling around so you can watch that rather than me talking through everything and then I'll come back at the end and we'll have a look through it together um, so I hope you enjoy and I'll be back in a minute to talk about it more. Okay, so I said I wanted to do something for my genres where it would um, click through and it would show me all the books that I'd read that were in that genre, all the books that I own that were in that genre. So I've discovered that if I do it as a gallery view, then it will let me have pages connected through gallery view. So um, then I will just have to create a page for each of my genres and then I can click through um, from the gallery and I'll have those things and I can organise them by TBR in that genre and um, red books in that genre because I have the database set up in the books that I own and then the red books to be able to use that to create this I think so I'm going to attempt that I'll show you it when I'm done I just wanted to add actually something that a, a little tip that I had been given if you go type for commands and then you put a toggle list in and then inside your toggle you put a database whatever view you want um, tape, uh, gallery view say so this is going to be everything that I read in January say so this is just a theory then this is just sort of a demo <laughs> i can't spell january then you can move it to be in line with other things normally with a table you can't make it be in line with other things but if you put it inside the toggle then it will work for you um yeah so when you try and put that um, in line with anything else outside of the toggle it won't do it but inside the toggle it's happy to be in line with other things and I found that very helpful for like putting you can also do that with things like calendars and stuff you can put them inside a toggle and then they will be in line where you want them to be which is perfect it's what you want <laughs> so I'm going to go back to making this pretty um and show you it at the end hello it is a different day um as you can tell but I am going to just show you through what I've done with my reading um, notion. Uh, it is a work in progress and I also just put the washing machine on without thinking this through. So apologies if you can hear the washing machine in the background. So here we have my reading notion. It doesn't look that different than when you last looked, but I have changed the pictures out. Um, so we have my navigation at the side here and I added a link to the story graph for my story graph. Um, and then we have a toggle for books read in 2023. So I can add things like that. Um, as I read things. Still not finished anything and it is the fourth as you can see in the corner there. Um, so then I have my winter TBR which I haven't actually decided what that is yet. There will be a video coming out next week um, so when I have decided that I will fill it in. Um, and then we have a little Moomin here um, because I love the Moomins and then all of my 
2023 Reads, which is a video I made, which I'll leave in the cards above, and a little Ghibli cat among the books there. Um, and then currently reading, so the only book I'm currently read reading is Bangkok Wakes to Rain, but if I usually read more than one book at a time, so that will probably fill up. Then we have my library books that I currently have out, um, which actually I can now um, delete Our Wives Under the Sea and follow me to ground, because I took them back to the library yesterday. <laughs> And so then we have these two uh, toggle boxes, so they can close up like this, so you can't see anything. But that's my red in July, and I've decided to make this a gallery view, so you can, um, so that I can have like a little snippet of the pit cover um, as the view. And then if I click on it, it opens to this page, which then links to my Bangkok Wakes to Rain, um, which is in my 2023 reads, so I can easily go through to either of them which I like. Then I have my favourites here, which I haven't actually filmed those in yet, but I'm going to put in my book, um, my favourites. I might actually change it to toggle boxes with just a list of my favourites, but I was considering also maybe doing an embed of my videos for each of my favourites for the year so that I can see them and then having an like, updated, updating list for 2023 of books that I think might make it to my favourites so that I can remember at the end of the year. And then here we have some lists of books by 20 books by black women, 20 books by Asian women and 12 books by African authors are all challenges that are over on Instagram. I always feel a bit unsure about like quotas like this, um, but we will see. We'll see if I complete them and how I feel about them in the future. Added also 12 books by indigenous authors and Latino authors because I'm always trying to read more of those. I don't find they come in as organically as books by black and Asian authors. I have to seek them out, which is not to say that the books that I read from them I don't then enjoy. It's just that I don't see them as easily on Instagram or on booktube or whatever. Uh, and also books by LGBT authors, which is another one that's tricky because people don't always tell you, do they? Uh, so this will have to be books by authors who have who are publicly out, as it were. So then if we go back up here to the top in my navigation, we have my 2023 reads, which I showed you me setting up. Again, it's still only Bangkok Quakes to Rain, um, but I showed you all of those, what those things are earlier. Then we have my library, which again, I still haven't filled out with all of these books because that will take time, um, but I showed you me setting that up. And then I have four videos. Um, so this will be TBRs for videos, and there's a sneak peek of two of the videos that might be coming out at some point. Um, and then hypothetical TBR, I showed you set me setting this up as well, which is going to be from my story graph, um, anything that I've like added to my TBR pile, but I don't actually own um, on story graph. And then we have genres, which is the one that I wanted to show you um, at the end here. So here we have them. Um, I've again decided to do a gallery view because I quite like having these like individual pictures from uh, Unsplash that represent each of them. Um, I think it looks quite cool they're kind of all in the same uh color palette and then if i click through to one say literary fiction i made it pop up on the side instead of coming up in the middle and what i've done here is there's tables so the first one here we've got books that i own um but filtered by literary fiction so any ones that i've tagged literary fiction will turn up here rather than the full list of books i own and then i also have books on my radar um that are literary fiction tagged as literary fiction as well and also my 2023 reads again filtered by literary fiction and I've done that for all of them so it has all books I've read this year in that genre books that I own in that genre and books that I want to read in that genre um yeah so I've filtered I've just used the tables that I've already set up in other pages um which you can do when you add a table you can um use an existing database which is how I did that and then you can filter it at the top by any of those things so I filtered by my tags for genre and I'm quite happy with it it's not finished none of this stuff is finished it is all a work in progress so if you have any like ideas for me or recommendations for things that might work or any tips and tricks about Notion I would love to hear from you in the comments um I did do film the outro to this when I was filming originally so I'll send you to Rasheen in the past to say goodbye. So there you have it, that is my reading Notion for this year. We'll see how well I stick to it. Maybe I will do a check-in and a Notion tour to show you how it's going in the future. Let me know in the comments if that is something you would be interested in. Um, but I will try my best to stick to it and hopefully it will help me with my reviews, with keeping track of all the books I own and the books I have out from the library as well. And hopefully I will find it a very useful thing. I think I like that it's on my laptop and on my phone so that I can take notes 
on the go um but we will see how well it lasts and thank you for watching do let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips on how you use your notion anything i didn't do here that you think might be helpful for me um i'm still a newbie as i said and please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe i put out new videos twice a week so i will see you again very soon thank you for watching bye bye